you guys and welcome to K-Pop Thoughts. This is just a video series where I just think about a certain topic and elaborate on it and give my opinions. Just like every other YouTuber. <laughs> but this time, as I can tell from the title, it is which big group will disband next. Now, what are the groups that didn't make the list, but a recent article came out about Wonder Girls considering moving on from JYP. Not necessarily disbanding, but moving on as a group. First is ZEA. Only being six years old, ZEA has only produced three albums with the latest, Continue, Best Album, released relatively recently in 2015, and winning no major awards, only being nominated in 2010's Mama for Best New Male Artist. And members Minwoo and Taehyung currently enlisted in the military. There really isn't that much activity for them as a group. I can see ZEA if Star Empire needs to disband them, but I don't believe they will. And I will predict ZEA to re-sign. Next up is CN Blue. FNC has had success with most of their groups and CN Blue is one of them, a staple of the company, regarded as the most popular K-pop band at the moment. They're not going anywhere unless they think it's time for a change. And I expect CM Blue to re-sign. Next is Sistar. Starship has had Sistar since 2010, and they have been releasing hits ever since. Sistar being one of the biggest brands in K-pop with the power vocals of Hyolin leading the group. I cannot see Sistar going anywhere. And I expect them to re-sign. Up next is Miss A. Now this one's a bit tricky. JYP has experienced tons of success with their new groups, i.e. TWICE and GOT7. Even their older groups, Wonder Girls and 2PM, Miss A is on the fence. Debuting in 2010 and regarding as a rising group at the time, Miss A has experienced some road bumps, with the departure of Chia from the group, Fei getting hate for her Chinese views, Miss A is close to the edge. And with Suzy being extremely popular in Asia, she will be getting a solo in January, and this could be a test to see if breaking them up into solo artists would be more viable to the company. I'm not so sure about this one. And I expect Miss A to disband. Up next is Teen Top. Teen Top has consistently been releasing new albums every year since their debut. And coming out of Top Media, the proof is there. They will resign. Up next is Girls Day. With the comeback in the making, although having a delay, Girls Day will undoubtedly re-sign and continue to promote, despite the hate they receive from netizens. And finally is Nine Muses. Despite having numerous member and lineup changes, Star Empire has shown they are willing to work on Nine Muses in order for the group to work. And by having a subunit debut Nine Muses A, Nine Muses will continue to live on. I expect Nine Muses to re-sign. So those are a list of groups who are considered to resign or disband because their contracts are ending this year. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you agree or do you disagree? Or is there any other big group that I missed out on that could possibly disband as well? Let me know down in the comments as well. Let's have a conversation. Now, if you enjoyed this kind of video, please give this video a like. I'm going to be having more K-pop thoughts later on. And I hope you guys enjoy. Now, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Anya.